so in 2013 i went to kandahar afghanistan as an engineer when i was in the military and when i came back they were like hey there's a public affairs position it's open for a photojournalist spot like, you should apply for it like you'd be perfect so i did and they put me in the position and then they said well you have to go to school which is dinfos in maryland and it's an eight month school and they teach you how to be a photojournalist they teach you videography like broadcast school like everything and I'm um, like, man, that's a really good opportunity for me to go and do this because, like, I would love it. And, well, at the time, my my wife was, was pregnant. So when I got back and everything, by the time I got in that position and they were scheduling my class date, it was going to be after my daughter was born. So I had to make the decision then was like, do I want to pursue this, you know, once in a lifetime chance to go to the school or do I, you know, like opt out and just say, you know, screw it, I'm not going, I'm, I'm going to be home when my daughter's born. So that was like the first time I had a chance in my military career to like take control of like my personal life. And I said, no, I'm not going. And I just, I got out of the military right there. So I passed on the school and, you know, which was a good decision, obviously for my family. Mm -hmm. But then um, after that, I was like, I can just do this thing on my own. Like I can, I can, you know, do photography, photojournalism, whatever I want on my own. Like, I, I don't need that school. It would be great to have it, but I don't need it. That is a great decision that's, that you have made. Dope. Yeah. Cause you definitely can. You, I mean, you have a lot of online resources to learn photography. Um, were there anyone, were there any online resources in particular that you used? Yeah, I mean, I looked at like Creative Live and, you know, I follow like a lot of other like photojournalists, but like it seems like no matter how much you look online, there's always like that one bit of information that you feel like you're missing, you know? Like it's the hands on. Yeah, that's exactly it. And it's the hands on just going through the best way to learn. Yeah, and you're just doing it. But, you know, it also helps when you have a mentor, you know, for somebody that can, um, you know, answer some of these questions and just kind of like give you some reassurance, you know, like, hey, you're you're going in the right direction or maybe you don't want to go in that direction. So, so were, were you able to find a mentor here in Vegas? Um, not not per se like a mentor, but I did reach out to like a lot of people and just like I just asked a lot of questions because I had like, you know, what do I do with lighting? How do I like direct people? Like, what do I do, mm -hmm. you know, in these different situations and like, you know, looking back on it, like, man, I was super eager and I just annoyed the hell out of people. <laughs> like, it was good though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for anybody that I annoyed back then. I was just trying to learn. Forgive me. Hey man, it worked um, out. Yeah. Um, I, I would, I would say, um, uh, cause even with, with photography, like if I don't do it for a certain amount of time, it doesn't matter how good I was when I, when I was doing it, if I stopped doing it for like two, three months or something, like it's almost like I have to retrain myself how to, how to do it. And it's one of those muscles. Like you kind of say, like, there's something about just watching photography tutorials and learning it online and then actually doing it. Yeah. That's such a big thing. Cause like you can watch it all day. You can watch, you can watch it all day. Like if you are not practicing it, like it's, it's wasted information, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I mean, I think that's the same with a lot of things is like, you have to have the, the hands on the, the OJT on the job training kind of mm -hmm. stuff where it's like, you can learn a lot of the book stuff, but sometimes the book stuff just doesn't apply and you're going to be focused only on that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, people are always talking about like the rule of thirds and, you know, all these different photography rules that you need to follow. But it's like sometimes you have to know when to get rid of those rules and just create something good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 